Are you ready to change your life, but don't know how to start? Is your stress and worries keeping you awake at night? Have you been battling grief, anxiety, or depression all alone? Have you lost touch with your own sense of being or spirituality? Soul Free Therapies offers professional and affordable live video streaming counseling and coaching services from the comfort of your own home. Sessions offered in English, Spanish, and Portuguese. Go to our website at www.soul-free.com and book your first session today. The Opperman Report is brought to you by Aquadam.net. You can give them a call at 707-764-2119. A flooded home is never easy to deal with. You're left with the mess to clean up, the insurance companies to deal with, and not to mention all the memories, the precious memories that are lost in the flood. You can never replace those. And Aquadam can be a tool in your arsenal to protect your home and property from the floodwaters. The coffer dam is filled with water to control water and is reusable as long as it's taken care of. It can protect your home or business from rising floodwaters like a dam, but without the beavers. It can also be used in construction. If you need an area to be dewatered, an aqua dam can do the job. An aqua dam was used at SeaWorld in Orlando for the Mako roller coaster ride during the coaster's construction by dewatering the work area. An aqua dam is now dewatering the work area at San Antonio SeaWorld for their newest roller coaster ride. An aqua dam has been used in many construction projects all around the U.S. and all around the world. Now give aqua dam a call, 707-764-2119. You can look them up online at aquadam.net. You can find them on Facebook at Aquadam Inc. And you call them up, you email them, you tell them Ed Opperman sent you, and they're going to take 10% off the price. Aquadam.net, 707-764-2119. PureSoapFlakes.com, 218-568-2525. Have you ever heard of Castile Soap? Pure Soap Flake Company handcrafts fine soap bars, laundry powder, and concentrated soap flakes using organic vegetable oils from their northern Minnesota facility. Bathe your body and wash your clothes with pure soap products that are free of fragrance, GMOs, palm oil, sodium lauryl sulfate, and synthetic additives. Keep it clean, folks. Pure Soap Flake Company products are kind to living creatures and sensitive skin, safe for drains and waterways, and work great in high-efficiency washers and top- and front-loading machines. They have a little promotion going on. Contact them to order some soap. Mention the Opperman Report. You're going to get a free gift. They're going to sing a little extra soap, travel size, soap bars, and laundry soap, cleaning soap flakes. I've been using that stuff all day long today. Great stuff. Order today at puresoapflakes.com or give them a call. 218-568-2525. 218-568-2525. Pure Soap Flake Company is a proud member of the Handcrafted Soap and Cosmetic Guild. If you find yourself in need of legal representation, it can be a very stressful time in your life. In my career, I have dealt with thousands of lawyers, I've dealt with thousands of law firms, and I can confidently recommend to you Keith M. Davidson at kmdlaw.com. Available 24 hours, seven days a week, just log into kmdlaw.com, that's kmdlaw.com, or you can call toll-free 833-4-KMD-LAW, that's 833-4-KMD-LAW. Personal injury, wrongful death, STDs, sexual assault, car accidents, they handle it all efficiently and professionally. It doesn't matter how imposing the opposition may be, because the team at KMDLaw.com are battle-tested and fierce. They will not stop until justice prevails. Go to KMDLaw.com or call toll-free 833-4-KMD-LAW. If you're in for the fight of your life, stop screwing around and contact KMDLaw. It's the Opperman Report. Join digital forensic investigator and PI Ed Opperman for an in-depth discussion of conspiracy theories, strategy of New World Order resistance, high-profile court cases in the news, and interviews with expert guests and authors on these topics and more. It's the Opperman Report. And now, here is investigator Ed Opperman. Okay, welcome to the Opperman Report. I'm your host, private investigator, Ed Opperman. You can find me at Opperman Investigations and Digital digital Forensic Consulting through my website, emailrevealer.com. Or you can just email me directly at oppermaninvestigations at gmail.com. If you like our show today, be sure and check out our Patreon, where we put up eight new hours of new content each month. And matter of fact, I just put up the the, the top secret uh, manifesto of the Proud Boys, because uh, it just came out that the, the leader of the Proud Boys is an FBI informant. 
So we've had that for quite a while. We just put that up for free. Uh, we put up all the um, Dominion lawsuit documents. We put that up for free. And also to the old grand jury report in Pennsylvania uh, about the pedophile priests over there. It's a couple of years old, but I know a lot of people haven't read the whole thing. And also to our archives are always free that you can find at Spreaker.com where we have a chat room and we put up a free content that is a, a you get an email notification anytime we put up new content. And our guest today, we've got about 10 shows up there with him, Stephen Hoffenberg, uh, the former CEO of Tower Financial, who was Jeffrey Epstein's mentor and boss over at Tower Financial. And now he's uh, been hunting down. Epstein and Maxwell and giving us all the inside dirt on this story for years now. So, Mr. Hoffenberg, are you there? Yes. How are you? I'm very good. And it's very good to hear your voice again. It's been too long since we've had you back on the show. I know you... <laughs> I know you're an audience favorite. I know that for sure. Uh, and if they call you the gift that keeps on giving, is what they call Stephen Hoffenberg. Uh, but remind the audience, who is Stephen Hoffenberg? Stephen Hoffenberg is the man that saved the New York Post from going out of business when it was in bankruptcy and brought it back to life. And thereafter, it was sold back to Rupert Murdoch. And that's why it is doing the publishing it has today. Stephen Hoffenberg is a former CEO at Towers Financial Corporation, a public company that did a billion and a half dollars a year in collections and raised a bi some billion dollars on Wall Street where Jeffrey Epstein was a major participant, an associate, and a person who participated in a very substantial set of securities and other crimes at Towers Financial and its some 25 companies. And Stephen Offenberg is a man that worked with Jeffrey Epstein and knew Jeffrey Epstein one-to-one -one for nine years and has been following the scandal for some 25 years and does research in the scandal of Jeffrey Epstein and Jelaine Maxwell every day for the victims. Stephen Offenberg talks to the victims by various communications online and other and provides a lot of information pertaining to the crimes. So I'm a victim's person helping the victims of the crimes of Jolene Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein and the other related people to them that have not been charged so far. Please yeah, go ahead, Ed. Yeah, Mr. Hoffenberg, before we started the, the interview, you told me that there was some new litigation involving Les Wexner. Why don't you tell us who is Les Wexner and what is this new litigation? Les Wexner has a substantial history financially and various allegations against Les Wexner and his wife, Abigail Wexner, I believe, for being an associate with Jelaine Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein for a lot of years. They're charging Les Wexner in allegations in a derivative lawsuit for the benefit of the shareholders of a New York Stock Exchange company called L Brands, which is a company associated with Victoria's Secrets and other holdings that Leslie Wexner and his foundation and his wife and I imagine his family have a big interest in, a New York Stock Exchange public company. And in this derivative lawsuit, that was recently filed in the month of January, they're claiming hundreds of millions of dollars were lost by the shareholders or securities holders of L Brands associated with Victoria's Secrets 
and Jeffrey Epstein and Jelaine Maxwell's misconduct being the root or the basis or the joining of these hundreds of millions of dollars of losses, blaming it on Leslie Wexner and his wife, Abigail Wexner, in the complaint. The complaint, I believe, is about 125 pages of allegations. So it's a very complicated, lengthy lawsuit joining in Jelaine Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein and all of the crimes that they were charged with. You know, everything you... There's much more in the media about what's taking place, the investigations and the prosecutions and some hundred civil suits. It's a very deep, vast set of claims against Jelaine Maxwell, Jeffrey Epstein, and now they're alleging Leslie Wexner, L. Brands, and more persons involved with Leslie Wexner are implicated for allegations. Go ahead, Ed. Yeah, if, if you have your hands on that uh, complaint, if you could send that to him, I'll put it up on the website so the audience can read it. Um, why do you think, though, if there was this big um, uh, viral meme that went around, Epstein didn't kill himself, and big joke, everybody was talking about it constantly, how come you know, never, there was never a meme that said, hey, boycott uh, the Limited, boycott uh, Victoria's Secret because they're, they're hooked up with these pedophiles? Well, how come you, you think that never happened? I don't think that the Victoria's Secrets brand or L brands were exposed in the media as what they're facing now. Now it has shifted and transferred the claims substantially uh, in this derivative action. It wasn't there before, 125 pages of claims joining in Jeffrey Epstein all of the prior misconduct, rapes everything else it just wasn't there before now it's exposed and when was this complaint filed? Time. when was this filed? January January okay. this month, I believe. Because I got to tell you, everybody tags me and every slightest thing even remotely related to this case and I, I, no one's brought this to my attention until you today um, so we have that. Now, now, by the way, too, also, if you go to the Opperman Report Patreon, there's all kinds. I have documents over there about the OSU, the Ohio State University sex scandal that went on there with the, the male athletes, mostly male athletes. And uh, some of those uh, assaults took place in the Wexler building. Uh, who donated a building there. He's on the board of directors over there, and his wife is currently uh, deciding on um, uh, penalties and punishments uh, in, in that case when she's uh, accused herself uh, with Maria Farmer. Can you tell us a story about Wexner and his Abigail and Maria Farmer? Well, under Maria Farmer, F-A-R-M-E-R, online, if anybody wants to search the online prior history, Maria Farber claims that she was held against her right of freedom at a very large home that's on the property and estate of the Wexners in New Albany, Ohio. And Maria Farber has alleged that she was a captive and taken advantage of sexually many times for months at this New Albany, Ohio estate and home that Jelaine Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein were occupying on the land or estate of the Wexners. Very serious allegations are in these claims. Now, of the, holding against will. Now the, but there would have been no or, criminal, there's no criminal charges in that case, am I correct? Well, once again, the criminality of Jeffrey Epstein and Jelaine Maxwell and all that you're discussing is first started now 
after years of diligent work by the FBI and the Soviet